Hello everyone, this is James Nussbaumer, and I hope that you will join me uh, with lesson number 10, A Course in Miracles, this raggedy old book once again that I'm just so fond of. Lesson number 10 in the workbook for students, way back in here. But before we get going with lesson number 10, uh, which the idea is that my thoughts do not mean anything, let me say that, you know, this morning, Oh, around nine o'clock in the morning, I was leaving the gym, uh, the rec center here in town, they call it, where I was uh, doing my morning workout, a routine that I have there. And, you know, the kids are off school. And I was walking out uh, of the gym with a little sweat, and I was kind of relaxed because, you know, how that workout gets you feeling. And, and these uh, – Three girls and a couple of boys were hanging out. There's a bicycle rack there, and I think that their parents were in there working out, and they were just waiting. But there was a street nearby, and one kid, uh, the boy, was getting ready to get on his bike, and and uh, all of a sudden there was a funeral procession that went by, you know, with the hearse and all the, the cars following with the little flags that they put on the uh, car when the funeral was going by. And this one little girl, she had to be seven, eight years old. Let's just say she was eight. And uh, she says, hey, don't count, the, don't count those cars. Don't count the number of them coming by because that's bad luck. And, you know, I thought to myself right away, I said, you know, when I was that age, eight, eight years old, I remember that same uh, thing going, that same talk going on back then, but not counting the, uh, the number of cars in the funeral procession. Now, think about that. Um, when I'm, if I'm 58 years old now, almost 59, that was 50 years ago when I was eight. So let's just say that was 1966 when I was eight years old. Don't you think maybe back in 50 years before that, which would have been what, 1916, that they were probably saying the same thing? My thoughts do not mean anything, lesson number 10. This idea applies to all the thoughts of which you are aware or become aware in the practice periods. The reason the idea is apl applicable to all of them is that they are not your own real thoughts. We have made this distinction before and we will do so again. You have no basis for comparison as yet when you do you will have no doubt that uh, what you once believed or your thoughts did not mean anything. This is the second time we have used this kind of idea. The form is only slightly different. This time the idea is introduced with my thoughts, in other words, my thoughts, instead of these thoughts. And no link is made overtly with the things around you. The emphasis is now on the lack of reality of what you think you think. This aspect of the concern process of this aspect, this aspect, I'm sorry, this aspect of correction process began with the idea that the, that the thoughts of which you are aware are meaningless outside rather than within, and then stress their past rather than their present status. Now we are emphasizing that the presence of these thoughts, so to speak, means that you are not thinking. This is merely another way of repeating our earlier statement in previous lessons, that your mind is really blank. Now remember in previous lessons, to recognize this is to recognize nothingness when you think you see it. As such, it is the prerequisite for vision. Close your eyes for these exercises and introduce them by repeating the idea for today quite slowly to yourself. Then add, this idea will help to release me from all that I now believe. The exercises consist, as before, in searching your mind for all the thoughts that are available to you without selection or judgment. 
try to avoid classification of any kind. In fact, if you find it helpful to do so, you might imagine that you are watching an oddly assorted procession going by, which has little, if any, personal meaning to you. As each one crosses your mind, say this. Now, I'll substitute the word uh, funeral procession in here. My thoughts about this funeral procession does not mean anything. My thoughts about this funeral procession does not mean anything. Just like the kids today, that funeral procession really didn't mean anything to them, right? Other than don't count the cars. Isn't that something how children can come up with that? We did too when we were children, right? Okay, here we go to continue this. Today's thought can obviously serve for any thought that distresses you at any time. In addition, five practice periods are recommended, each involving no more than a minute or so of mind searching. It is not recommended that the time period be extended, and it should be reduced to half a minute or less if you experience discomfort. Remember, however, to repeat the idea slowly before applying, before applying it specifically, and also add, this idea will help to release me from all that I now believe. That's lesson 10. And if you are a first timer watching uh, me here with lesson 10, I've, I'm doing all the lessons. Um, I, I feel it's important that I read it uh, right from the book because I'm um, counting on the fact that you have it with you yourself. And if you don't, that you're borrowing one or you're getting one from someone soon or you're interested in that. Um, but anyways, getting back to my thought about the kids in the, in the procession, the funeral procession, where they were saying, don't count the cars, it's going to be bad luck. I thought that was so cute. But, uh, you know, you know, we did that the same thing when we were kids and 50 years before we were kids, you know, they, they said the same thing and 50 years before that and on and on, they did the same thing. So I think my whole point in that is that, you know, when we're kids, we're so innocent. Our innocence is still with us so much there, but as we get older through this life in human form, we tend to the world seems to penetrate us more and more towards taking us away from our innocence. It tries to so much. So if we can laugh once in a while and reflect back on on these kind of on these kind of things, don't you think that help, that that helps a little bit? And I think that that's what lesson number ten in a course in miracles is all about. Thanks for listening to me today. God bless you.